They're just they're good teammates. So losing them, um, it's not a good thing. But we do have guys uh, who know the offense, who can step in, and who can make plays out there. Coach mentioned that Brad Rogers redshirt might be coming off. Have you seen anything out of him? Have you seen him in practice? He's been um, getting some reps with some of the twos, and he's been doing a good job of um, you know learning as he goes. Uh, it's kind of hard to get thrown in there at the end of the season. Uh, when you're usually running the scout team, but he's doing a good job of adapting to, um, you know, practicing with the offense, I guess. With better numbers like you've got right now, does practice change at all? Not to say that you ease up or lighten up, or you get smarter, or do you do things differently? I think you're just smarter about how you go about things. That's all in the coach's hands, and uh, they do a great job towards the end of the season of, you know, making sure everyone's fresh. How's it going to feel to get back home after two tough road games like that? Uh, it's, it's great to be back home. You know, it's um, all that travel that can... Um, you know, it puts a little bit of extra pressure on a team. And um, to have, you know, the two road games were very good tests for us, and they were both very good ball clubs, just like the team we're playing now. They're a good team. Um, there's, uh, you know, each week's a new challenge, and it's a different kind of challenge, I guess, when you're at home. Uh, there's a different type of adversity you have to handle, um, especially coming off of a big game. Uh, that's a different kind of challenge as opposed to, um, you know, going on the road two, uh, two weeks in a row. And... Um, with each challenge, you know, there's a different way to adapt to it and different way to, to handle it. And the co- Coach Ferentz does a great job of, um, I guess, keeping everybody on the same level. Another second-half victory for you guys. You know, it's kind of quickly becoming a theme. At the beginning of the season, it was viewed as a problem, but now is it almost a, a medal of honor? Um, well, I mean, the game isn't over at halftime, so, you know, you're going to have to win the game in the second half. Um uh, that's just how football goes, especially in a close game. It's going to come down to the uh, fourth quarter, obviously, a lot of times. Um, but there's still a lot of things in the first half that uh, can affect the outcome. Um, a little less than, you know, when you get closer to the end of the game, those things start to really matter a little more because you can't make up ground as fast. Um, we're not trying to, you know, win a certain way every week or. It just however you can win is, is how you want to win. It's, it's all the same. It's just a win or a loss. And um, if we have to do it with you know throwing the ball or do it running the ball, special teams, it, it doesn't matter to us. As long as we can get a win, um, that's going to keep everybody happy at the end of the day. What's it going to take though for this offense to, to be more consistent? You know, you guys looked great in the last two minutes of last week's game, and I know a lot of that was just game situation. Mm-hmm. But you know, what do you guys need to do to put a, a full 60 minutes together as an offense? Um, you just got to execute better. That's really all that, that you can do on offense is if you can execute and everyone's on the same page, everything else is pretty much take care of itself. Can you talk about losing Adam and the impact that's on the offense? Uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's usually losing a guy like him. He's a great football player. He's a great guy. Everyone likes having him around. Um, he's, uh, you know, he, he's quiet. He sticks to you know, what he needs to do. And the um, impact that he's had on this team, uh, no one could have predicted it at the beginning of the season, obviously. And um, but to see the production that he's given this ball club through all the close games, really being his first test out there, um, you know, this season going out there, and he, the kind of production that he gave the offense was huge. So um, losing him isn't going to be easy, but we've got guys that are um, that know the offense that can step in and can. Um, you know, make an impact. You guys have a lot of confidence in Brandon still, right? Yeah. I mean, he's done a great job also of showing uh, what he can do on the field. So um, there's no reason not to have confidence in, in him and Pocky. What's an adjustment is it for you, though? You had that all season, like movable parts kind of, you know, Dace is out now. Collins probably going to be out this week. Mm-hmm. Adam, is that how difficult is it for you? Um, I mean, we're not going to, you know, get upset and just, you know, hold a meeting and not, you know, practice because a couple guys are out. We're going to just keep doing what we do, and that's the only thing we can do right now. So we've just got to get back to practice. Um, those guys aren't going to be there, so there's nothing to stop and um, sit and wait for. Uh, we have to keep moving, use the guys that we have, and work it in so that we can execute the best that we can with those players that are going to be playing on Saturday. How many times have you handed off to Brad, Rogers, or Josh, Brown, who apparently are in the mix right now? Um, Ever? A little bit, you know. Really? At times, it's not hard to hand it off. To somebody, I know, so I know. But I'm just saying. That's really, that's, at this point, that's you know, that's elementary stuff. So that doesn't make too much. Of you a hope it is. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, you know, they're, they're redshirt freshmen or true freshmen being thrown yeah. into the to the. Uh, well, I mean, Brandon's a true freshman too, so yeah. it's, you never know what's going to happen. Um, you never know who's going to come up and who's going to step up big. So um, a lot of things can happen. Obviously, a lot of people can step up, and you just kind of got to see what happens. 
there any kind of feeling of disrespect on this team from the, the national media and what they're saying about not just you guys but the Big Ten in general and you know, that it's, a, it's not that great of a conference and you know that you guys uh, maybe aren't as good as your ranking? That doesn't really matter. <laughs> I could care less what they think um, or what uh, they perceive our record as. It doesn't really matter to me what their, um, you know, uh, I guess what their uh, respect level of our team is. Um, we're just worried about the guys that we have on this team and our coaching staff and uh, what, what somebody thinks of you and um, what they say is really doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't have an outcome on the game at all. So why should we even sit and worry about it? It has nothing to do with what we're doing in practice. It has nothing to do with the game plan. It's got nothing to do with the team we're playing. So sitting there and listening to it and uh, getting angry at them, it's just wasting time. BCS is a